So this is my third world tour with you. And I'm truly thankful for it. But this one is a special one. Um, last tour during my last prayer, I actually made an announcement saying that this was going to be my last tour. And I meant it. Um, <laughs> and I said that because um, after living the dream of touring twice with the greatest artist of all time, I wanted to pursue some other dreams of mine. That was um, to become an actor and a filmmaker. <coughs> so I wanted to be held accountable for it. So that's what I said in front of everyone. Like no turning back, forced to commit. So after the tour I worked for like, I worked my ass off through highs and deep lows um, to make it in this new venture. And uh, boy, it's not easy. It's not easy to start from scratch. But after three long years, I finally had a deal to direct and star in my first feature film. Then I received a text from Sarazi <laughs> telling me that um, M would like for me to join the tour with you guys. And at first I was like, uh, I can't, like, um, I work so goddamn hard for this, like, and I just got that opportunity and I couldn't just give it up like that. But then I remember one thing. Uh, I remember when I was at my lowest point in my life, emotionally and mentally, it was during MDNA, during the rehearsals. Everybody was on stage and uh, Jason kept looking for me, as usual. Um, but I broke down that day. I was nowhere to be found. Um, and when he found me, I was, I couldn't speak. I just, I was crying the entire time. And Em came up to me and she was worried and she asked what was up with me. And um, I looked at her and I told her, I told her, please don't let me go back there. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to do something bad. I had an avalanche of issues back home. And she picked me up and she said, I won't let you go. And you didn't. Where I come from, we don't take that lightly. I never take anything for granted, ever. So, since that day, I, always were, I was wondering like, how, the, how in the hell, how in the world I, will, I can show my gratitude, like my deepest, most sincere gratitude for everything you've done for me. And when I received the text from Sarah, I got the answer. And the answer was to be there for you when you need me, regardless of what I'm doing, even if it means sacrificing something that I care about that I work for years and years. And guess what? I always said, I cannot cry about having a lot of my, on my plates when my goal was to eat, let alone eat with wonderful people like you guys. So here I am again for you. And I thank you again, because this is still a dream. It is a dream. Whether we used to it or not, we're living the dream right now. And some of you probably didn't expect to be here in this room. It's probably like beyond your imagination, but if you're in this room, you're not lucky. You're blessed and you're blessed beyond measure. We are also powerful and for my personal taste, you're also wonderful and radiant. And I think this is why we're here because all that all that light that shines inside of our heart is needed. This is bigger than us. This is bigger than our dreams. Like while we're having fun on stage, doing what we do best, some messages are being spread. While we're exhausted in between quick changes and complaining about the heat, <laughs> or the cold, <laughs> some lives are being changed for real. And I'm so thankful, not only for what you do for us, but what you do for the world. And I'm truly humbled and honored to be part of your vision. 
You want a hell of a woman and I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen.